Um, got a quick little tutorial on how to create a boundary uh, in Google Earth Pro. Um, really any shape, but we usually use this for property boundaries. So what you're going to need to do is go up here and select Add Polygon. And then from there, you want to name it. Now, don't click OK, which is what you're going to want to do. I've done it plenty of times. We're just going to push this off to one side because we need to keep that open while we draw. What we can do is go in and change the style and color. Here's one I've used before. We can pick the width of the line that we're going to be drawing, the color, how opaque it is or how see-through. And then I've just select outlined. You might want to, it might start with filled and outlined, which will actually fill in the shape. You don't really need that. You just go outlined and then you're ready to go. So we just pick a, a spot like that. I've just picked some random place. And then we can just click on the map like that. And then let's just pretend that this is the boundary and so on and so forth. And then you can just go through and say, pretend it goes there and there. And obviously you'll follow your actual boundary. And then once we are happy with it looking about right, we're done. But you think, oh, hang on a second. Maybe that's not quite right. What you can do you can just use the mouse wheel to zoom in, or if you don't want to use that, you can use these controls over here. Zoom in and out, and you can also use these hand tools. Click on these arrows to pan. So I think, well, actually, this isn't quite right here. So what I might do is I might click on this, might like a little hand appear. I click on this point, and then I can add another one to, next to it. So in other words, in front of it, because I was going along like this. So if I want to change this, I can actually just click and drag it. Click and drag this until I get where it needs to be. And I think mm, that's not quite the right spot, etc., etc. Uh, I might want to add another spot. So I would go back to this point here and then click in front of it, in the direction I made the line, and that's going to do that. And so on and so forth. And then when I'm happy, I go OK over here. And then that will create the shape. From there, I can just right click on it or even just go file and go save place as. And then here I'll have an option to select either a KML or a KMZ. I think KML is probably preferable, but it doesn't really matter too much either way. You hit save and there's the one that I did before and you're good. That's it.